Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna be playing uh, Spider Deck, Spider Fearsome with the Nightfall in it. It's a pretty aggro deck. This concept has existed in the past. The new Nightfall cards that came out really boost this concept, especially with the help of Stocky Shadows, which is actually huge. You can do a lot of things. You can get a uh, double onlooker, you can get like um, Doom Beast to help you finish them off with the last bit of burn. Um, yeah, it's basically you play aggro, you play through some, and then late game and the through some don't matter as much. You want to burn them with Demolitionist and uh, Doom Beast, as well as Decimator and Fervor. Uh, you also have Skitterer, which can make your through some matter a lot more in certain matchups. Um, yeah. Darius is also an ultimate finisher if you don't get enough burn. Gives you that bit of overwhelm, especially since Ionia is not as prevalent with Ro anymore. Uh, Darius is a lot stronger right now, I think. With that said, let's get into the game. Alright, so we have Ender here. Hmm. I think we just keep the House Spider and Precious. I don't know. We discard Demolitionist because she's more of a finisher, right? Precious Pet pretty much always gets in for two here. The only thing that could stop it was uh, Thurbo in the past, but now I guess Solari Soldier can. Or Warding Shop, which is good, but. Uncommon, uncommon. So you can just drop the Elise here. We're just gonna tank this, of course. We don't want the Bark Beast to be able to block our fearsome. Okay, so yeah, he plays Butcher. Uh, luckily, we do have the answer to this. Hopefully, he doesn't play anything too bad. So you can like get it in, you know. Like if he plays Callista, we're kind of in trouble. Yeah. Maybe it's better to House Spider and just level the Elise. Next turn. Hmm, that is an option. But I I like this line. Because if he doesn't have like a Callista or something, punishes him quite heavily. Also, even if he does, I guess he has to trade it. He's tank he's like tanking nine here if he doesn't. Yeah, Skitter Skitter came huge here. It was amazing. Okay, so he takes the butcher. We're only gonna push through with that. We don't care about our release of the game. Probably gonna kill it, but. We're fine with just taking the extra damage that we can get here. Because if we didn't swing with the Elise, it's probably likely he would do something else. Also, that Butcher was very low value because he just put it on top of another Butcher. He didn't get anything off of it. Yeah, that's fine. Can't really attack with the bullet stick here. Oof, he missed the allegiance. That sucks for him. We have a couple options here. I'm gonna house spider. Wait, he's actually swinging? What? I'm confused. We're probably gonna demolitionist the house fighter. We got cast from. You could demolitionist this, especially if it's gonna block all the later down the line. It's fine. I don't know if he wants to play this into an aggro matchup. I think this is 
very much a mistake on his part. Oh, okay, that's fine. I guess it makes a little bit of sense, but like, still. We have good blocks. Whoa. One in three, so you can only kill one of his units. So you just block, chump, block. This guy's really debating these like decisions, but yeah. So he does nothing. So we're gonna stalk you, Shadow, see if we can get some birds. Onlooker is very tempting. It's not burn. It, it it's not burn, but we can play it this turn as two four one staring him down. But we're gonna just get the dudes out. I think it's slightly better here that we switch to the burn game plan. A uh, couple options here. I think picking a Doom Beast is fine. We don't want to take this one, we'll take this one actually. Because he knows these are from Stocky Shadows, so we'll know we have enough. Oh, what's that noise? So. It's path here. There's no reason to do anything strange. Our board is full, so to actually play cards, we're gonna have to override like the spider or something. There you are. Okay, I think he's gonna attack you. Right? He has to. He's gonna level the Callista here. Grow follows. Mean. Clearly block like that, and then we can trump, or we can block this. It's not huge. Uh, I'm not tank for. Then we're gonna unspeakable horror this. So we can play pet or into DVDs. Alright, let's see what we get from horror. Ooh. That's actually probably better to play right now. It's too unblockable damage, and uh, yeah. So you can play House Spider Onlooker. I think it's better to go for Chill Pick. You get like four damage at least. And yeah, now we could do House Spider into double duties and like, win the game. Shouldn't have really anything that can matter here. Two of his cards are units. Uh, Valve piece won't matter. You would need like. Um, uh, I should have played. I misplayed like heavily here because I kind of the game. So we should have won here. If we just played Onlooker into Double Duties instead of House Spider, so I wasn't paying attention to Mana. I am a fool. Now we have to deal with this scary attack. Wait, Where are you? Come closer. I don't fight. So we're gonna hope he develops other injuries. Or, could... oh, or he develops a general. Oh, okay. We're good.
So that should be good. Alright, slight misplay at, at the end, but overall you get to close it out. Get it to the next game. Okay, so this is the Targon arena list. A bit more greedy. I'm gonna go ahead and kick these. Probably kick the Aristocrats. We need our early drops now more than ever. Alright, no precious pet. Oh, uh, it would be very nice to have one, but fine. Alright, onlooker, not bad. Yeah, precious pet would have been the nuts. So we're gonna consider his options. Uh, like probably Skechurp. And like, that's it. There's nothing to fear. Yeah, we're gonna take take our three damage. If we develop forest, the same amount of damage as plus units. So we'll take our damage, and uh, I'm guessing he has an avalanche in hand. I'm always gonna play the gas and avalanche. So if he catalysts here, I'm very happy. Or oh, Captain their avalanche. All right, so we could set up for a pretty disgusting open attack. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. It's like horror. Now you've gone and upset it. Okay, we have to open attack in this matchup. There's no way around it. Otherwise, we just get blown out, right? Yeah, so unfortunately, these onlookers are gonna be pretty dead. Alright, we can just full send this. Because if he takes an avalanche, we can take like a house spider or something. Three so forward. Okay, so he takes a written in the stars. I will actually just take a house spider to level the elite. We could take a stocky shadows here for mana. And catch cash. He might try to avalanche us next turn, so. Let me change into something more comfortable. If he avalanches us. Whatever, honestly. Okay. So he opens the trundle. We're going to set up for another open attack. We're gonna stock the shadows, see what he gets. Ooh. A lot of good things here, actually. I like the demolition is more than anything. So we're gonna go ahead and play a uh, skitter here. Uh, we can't op uh, open the skitter next turn because avalanche is nothing, so yeah. I'm just gonna use it on my opponent's turn. Get its value in. We can jump with the spider and we're gonna replace it with a horror for a better attack. And yeah, we're gonna try to blow him out. So this drags this. This drags this. And then we full send for 3 Harsh wins. Okay, that card exists. So we're still getting in for 6, which is really good. I'm thinking if I want to push more, get at seven. We don't have to rush him. We can take our time, see what he does. We can probably just go in for demolitionist. Impressive, isn't it? More reporting for duty. Oh, uh, I wasn't considering. 
I mean, he's dead, right? He he tapped under, so he's just dead. They don't break. Yeah, he's dead. All right, and we managed to get those nice fierce sub attacks in with the level level at least. We got the challenger, and then we finish him off with burn. It's like how this deck supposed to play. And that's gonna be game three. Uh, let's play one more here. Alright, this looks like War Mother's Shuttle without the Trindamir. So I'm not completely sure what this is, but we could go ahead, pick these. These look okay. Oh, look, this is actually such a good card. Sometimes you get like. Some crazy shit with it. So we could open pressure pet like always. Should have no answer to it. Um this deck should probably be running a good amount of healing, so we'll see if we can rush him down before he gets to that. You get the two damage here in there. Pretty normal, pretty normal. So we could probably just house spider here. And then probably open attack. Cause he is going to look to Avalanche this board. If we do not open attack, we will lose the game. Like hundred percent we will lose if we don't open. It. If he has Avalanche. We get the 5 in, maybe he vile feasts the precious pet or something. Nope, guys, to tank it, probably avalanche here, or I guess. I'm, I'm just gonna pass. No catalyst. Okay. He decides to go for the ramp. We're just gonna pass. There's no need to overextend our board. We'll see what he does here. Because if he. Taps under Avalanche. We can just go ahead and play another House Spider. They're out there. I'll spot them. So you did not tap under Avalanche. Ooh. We kind of have to take this risk here. I think. I think we do. If he takes an avalanche now, then oh well, I guess. Sucks for us. Sucks for us. Sad thing is we can't open Skitter if it attacks because the avalanche is gonna kill us. And we would love to open Skitter if it attacks. Ah, there it is. So, we're gonna take an unspeakable heart here and see what it generates us. Priestess, okay, sure. Our board was quite, quite that threatening before House Spider, so I really want to take that risk there. This is bad, we don't really have a lot of Nightfall triggers. We could Decimate. Open Decimate's not terrible, and then we just open Onlooker. Or we could Priest this here. I think we just go for Onlooker. And I hope he doesn't have Alfie. You can see the Demacian border from here. Yeah. So it's a good 4 damage. Uh, Valfeast maybe? It's Valfeast or Bustier. Oh, okay, I'm thinking about her. That's another answer. Uh, 
Eh, uh, so you just end. Interesting. That's pretty bad for us. We kind of have to develop the skitter proactively. So you can like trigger something. Probably priestess. And the stars is interesting here. Cosmic inspiration. Nah, there's no reason to go for that. We have to behold the seal card. I think we go for the written. Pulling a uh, buff to Beast. Buffing her out of uh, Ice Break Rages. The boss. I was not even expecting that card to be that. So, maybe we should have passed back there, but. With our hand state, we really needed to take advantage of the fact that we had nightfall triggers. Uh, oh yeah, we could pull berries too. So I'm gonna take everything here, see if we get the elites. Okay, we pulled buff berries. So okay, but not ideal. I guess we have to do this. This is really awkward. This whole game is really awkward. Actually, he's like, uh, it's not looking good for us. I'm kind of ready to FF here. Not gonna lie. So he will. I'm not sure what the will accomplishes. I guess I can't demolish this. Alright. We might have just wanted to heal outside of Darius level up, which is interesting. Yeah, so he has his late game. He has the Ledros. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And we're gonna play out. We could play a Darius. We play a buff Darius here. This newbie spot is actually really good. It's gonna matter because of the overall that Darius has. And then we could go ahead and actually. Take a decimate after this to try get Darius to level up. So you take the decimate here. And we're setting up for an open attack. Hopefully. Obviously, Darius is gonna get blocked by Ledros and die, but. Hit him where it hurts. It's gonna do a lot of damage, is the idea. Cause like, this is lethal if he blocks with Ledros and doesn't heal, but he's, he has healing, so he has healing, he's dead. He just does. So unfortunately he can't develop anything here. And he has the heart heal. That's a pretty good answer. We're just gonna take a uh, fervor to his face. We could fervor the Ledros. There's a consideration to keep the Darius alive, but I don't think we're gonna get a good attack with him. Like every. Okay, so he has the vengeance. So yeah, yeah, we had two fast speed punishes. So the fervor there is fine. I think we developed the horror, we kind of have to develop the some Fokker, like if we can pull us out. We can take the demolitionist here. Um, I think what we need to draw next is like, probably something like a stalking shadow or something. Unspeakable horror is okay. 
I kept the aristocrat in hand just in case we do some nightfall card. And I needed to trigger it. Uh that's awkward for me. Like every step brings me closer to deliverance. Safeguard our homes. Routes closed. Take my heal now. Hmm. Alright, so he's just gonna end the game with Kale. Nothing you could do there. So we're just gonna... Wow, you really have to do this like that. Yeah, tough matchup, a lot of feeling. Um, let's see if we could do something in the next game. Alright, so this guy's something up to his lame brother. He's using the same deck. And the same seeds actually. I don't know why I have Prelure Creep on. I think I was playing some Prelure deck earlier today. Don't remember exactly what, but yeah. We're just gonna get our finishers out of the way. We could keep the horror, I think it's fine. Alright, does he open Precious Pet? Of course he does. He's gonna swing in for his big damage. And we're gonna open horror instead of Elise and be sad. He has Grenadier in his deck. Which makes us pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. So we're just gonna pass. That trade's probably gonna happen at some point. If he develops, we can. Uh... This looks good. If they don't break, they'll burn. There's demo now. For the glory of Noxus. Don't really have amazing plays. I here. have my orders. Ooh, this unspeakable her though. We don't have to pick face. Get in for that value, you know. Ooh, get a shade stalker. That is not bad at all. At any cost. Your path ends here. They're gonna go ahead and take the double block here. Oh, thank god those only do one damage now. That's pretty good. Uh, our plays suck, I'm not gonna lie. They all suck. We're gonna take a skitter. Really bad skitter. Yeah, she takes the house fighter, so yes, we get in for... Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Ooh, precious pet. Takes his own skitter. Which is really annoying actually. I'm gonna go ahead and take a demolition here actually. Remember the objectives. Cause we're probably taking six here. Unless you fervor. Make the Empire proud. Routes closed. I think we're good though. We're gonna play the Shade Stalker, which is gonna, gonna give me 2 P damage and a pressure pet. Um, interesting. We can play the Darius here. I'm kind of worried about another Skitter though. But probably all sees that on off there. We can take a Darius. Is the hand of Noxus. Your command, General Darius. He's probably gonna be forced to block. That's what I was afraid of actually. For truth. So yeah. None shall oppose me. We'll just get it in like this. Unfortunate Darius isn't gonna level before his attack, but Oh wow. That's fairly interesting. Oh. 
We might have to take defensive purpose here, which is not bad. We have a finishy uh, picture on the board. So we do this. I am not comfortable going down that level. So we will actually take at least one fervor here. So he's gonna fervor my face. We're gonna go ahead and fervor again. Okay. So Psyche 3 is kind of worrisome, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem as long as you set up for an open attack and not get decimated out. So we're gonna put, do something weird. We're gonna play the on the here. And we're not gonna use Oh, okay. For the glory of Noxus. Okay, good. So we're not gonna use it for an uh it's fearsome. We're just gonna use it for an open attack. And if you do decimate here, then that's kind of overwhelming. So, if he has no like fervor, we should be good. If he feeds you fervor, we cannot be around that. That's impossible. Okay, we're good. Okay, so you won the mirror as last game, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, hey guys, if you made it this far, thanks for sticking uh, around and watching the video. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch tomorrow and Thursday around 8 a.m. Uh, 8 a.m. 8 p.m. HST. And uh, we're going to be trying to actually make it back to Masters. Instead of playing around with meme decks and stuff, we're going to be like serious grinding back to Masters. And then uh, once you make it, we'll play more cool stuff. And we'll probably get more rewards. Uh, along the way, so we can actually make nocturnes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.